Anyone who's listened to Eminem before knows how much he hates his mom. There's countless songs with sneak disses towards his mom, he has full diss tracks towards his mom, and even though he drops hints throughout the songs, we don't really know exactly why. There's some things that the public knows, some things the public doesn't. The line is very blurred between reality and fame, so I want to do a deep dive on why Eminem hates his mom so much. Lyrics like this appear in some of Eminem's songs. This is on Cleaning Out My Closet, where he's talking about how his mom basically wishes he was dead. And after really thinking about it, I realized I wanted to learn more, find out exactly why these feelings are there. So Sunny B2 dropped this video called Eminem dissed his mom so hard she sued him. People told me he goes in depth on all the things that have happened in the past that led up to this. A lot of people know that she tried to sue him. She dropped a diss track on him, actually. So I want to watch this video and see exactly why all this happened. Eminem dissed his mum on a song so hard that she was able to successfully sue him. When did it happen? I did not know it was successful. I thought she actually failed because with Eminem's lawyers and all that, you think he'd win. How did it happen and what amount of money did she eventually get from him? Well, the lawsuit makes a lot more sense if you understand that Marshall Mathers and Debbie Mathers have always had a fragile relationship. He says, when I was growing up, I hated my mother because we were constantly moving. Now, it's pretty common for people to be moving around a lot. That's not like a rare instance, but he actually says right here, Eminem recalls his childhood as a tormented time in which he was forced to attend 15 different schools while his mom chased boyfriends from city to city. And I did not know his childhood that. childhood adding that his mother only loved him until he was eight years old, and that by the time he was 15, she was demanding that he either help with bills or be thrown out of the house. It was inevitable that at some point he'd rap about he and his mother's poor relationship, doing so for the first time in 1999, after releasing the now incredibly popular song My Name Is, which included the lines, 99% of my life I was lied to. I just found out my mum does more dope than I do. I guess that is where it started, huh? I completely forgot that was on Slim Shady LP. And that's the first track off his first official album. So it's pretty interesting that he felt the need to put that on his first track on his first album. He really felt this way pretty strongly. Uh, make a record about doing drugs and name it after her. Although when Eminem's mum would listen to this song following its release, she'd publicly defend herself by stating that his upbringing was the exact opposite to this. I'm looking at these and I'm going, what is this? I never worked a day in my life. We never had a house to live in. We lived on welfare. I mean, everything he was saying was like, I mean, I almost went into shock. I'm like, this is not true. Why are you doing this? He was spoiled rotten. Anything he wanted, I made sure that I'd take my last time and get it for him. See, it's also very interesting for her to lie in this situation especially with all the legal issues and stuff it's been proven that she was lying a lot of people hate her mostly because they're big fans of eminem she just doubled down and acted like she was innocent which i think is part of why people don't respect that. And to be fair to Debbie Mathers, there is evidence suggesting that Eminem didn't actually have a rough upbringing. Eminem's younger half-brother Todd Nelson stated in an interview that Marshall was always very resentful over not having a father figure in his life. Debbie did everything she could for him when he was growing up. She bought him his first car, a Lincoln Continental, and ran around after him so he didn't have to take responsibility for anything. How much do you think she paid him to say that? <laughs> I wonder if he said that live or if he just like type that out. So protective of this boy. She never allowed him until he got in his teens to have a lot of friends. Whether or not Eminem really had a traumatic youth was yet to be determined. However, on the 20th of September 1999, at a time during which Debbie Mathers was conveniently close to bankruptcy, she'd pick the first lawyer she found in the yellow pages named Fred Gibson and file a $10 million defamation lawsuit against yeah. Marshall Mathers, stating that his comments had caused various forms of emotional distress. Haven't multiple people tried to sue him too? Like the dude from Brain Damage? that he said bullied him. I'm pretty sure he was trying to sue Eminem as well. I think people just see how much money you get, how successful you get, and they just try to sue you for anything they can find. You can't go to the mob for being spit on and being called, you know, you uh, disgusting pig. It's sad because people are passing judgment by listening to Marshall. I'm going to be honest. Do you guys think if you went to the mall when Eminem had just blown up, so like this is, this is before Instagram, before YouTube, all that, you barely know what Eminem looks like, let alone his mom. Do you really think people were spitting on her at the mall and calling her a pig. I don't believe that. I don't think people knew who she was until she started this and put herself, I mean, he just made fun of his mom, but people didn't know who his mom was at the time. Because people are passing judgment by listening to Marshall's songs. However, the filing of this lawsuit only led Eminem's mom to receive even more backlash. Going back to the interview with Eminem's half-brother, he'd state that after filing the lawsuit, Eminem's mom became the most hated woman in Detroit. Debbie can't go out anywhere See, in Detroit without- There you go. Like, they didn't know who you were, and now you're the most hated woman in Detroit. ...being recognized. And normally it ends up with her being abused or attacked. She's had everything from eggs thrown at her to cigarette butts flicked at her. She okay. Like, 
that's a little far. Let's when Marshall himself learned of the lawsuit, he unsurprisingly called his mother in a fit of rage. However, in the public eye, Eminem was able to remain cool, calm, and collected, stating that he simply expected the lawsuit. My mum is a lawsuit queen. All her life she has sued people. That's how she makes money. My mum's suing for 10 million. She must want a dollar for every pill I've been stealing. Oh, yeah. Where you think I picked up the habit? All I had to do was go in her room and lift up her mattress, doubling down on the claims that had started the lawsuit. However, this- Yeah, like, I mean, he was kind of known at that time. It didn't matter what it was. If it got people's attention, if it made people mad, he would just go after it. He talked about the most controversial things he could. I'm sure after hearing his first album, she expected this. Demi Mathers dropped a diss track on Eminem. <laughs> With the what? release of the CD, it was one of the ways for me to get my feelings out there to my son and the public. The song actually, titled Dear- I've actually never heard that whole song. I always shut it off like a minute in. I just can't listen to it. And featured lyrics such as, we have a problem, Marshall. The past two years, something really went wrong. I was so excited about your success, yet so let down by your betrayal. Will the real Marshall Mathers please stand up and take responsibility for his actions? Actions. It includes the telltale line, Marshall, we have- Dude, she had the whole domain too, marshallsmom.com. I think she just enjoyed the fame, I'm gonna be honest. Like, at some point, you just back away, and then people will stop hating you as much. If, But when you're pushing yourself in the public eye like that, putting yourself out there, and you know how big Eminem's fan base is, even at that time. For all the supporters, you're getting the same amount of haters, so I think she knew what she was doing. And to set the record straight on that lawsuit, Debbie hasn't dropped the suit, but as we said, she is working on a settlement. Perhaps as a partial result of his mother's diss track, Eminem rejected the $2 million settlement request, instead stating that he'd rather pay his attorneys $100,000 just to make sure that she doesn't get a dime. That is... That is diabolical. Rather pay his attorneys 100k so she doesn't get a dime. I feel like at this point for him, it's just making a point. He just doesn't want to back down. He doesn't want to take the loss in this situation. Debbie seemed to have theorized another method to earn this money. As shortly after having her $2 million settlement rejected, she'd announced that she was writing a tell-all book about her and Marshall's upbringing titled My Son Marshall. Yeah. Like, it's, it's just obvious at this point. She's done the diss track, the lawsuit writing a book. She just wants the fame. She wants the attention. My son Eminem. And it doesn't seem like he wants to give it to her. After seeing her book announcement as another cash grab based on his fame, Eminem would escalate the conflict further by stating, if I could go back in time, I'd probably go back to the day I was born and kill my mother as soon as she Yo. had me. Also releasing an- Yo, I didn't know he said that. He's better off just not saying anything. He's better off ignoring it. Just like he did with the game diss track a couple years ago. He probably knew what he was doing though. He knew he's getting fame from it. He just wants to keep feeding it, I guess? I don't know. I didn't know he said that, though. That's crazy. Another brutal song titled Cleaning Out My Closet, in which Eminem can be seen digging a grave for his mother in the music video, whilst rapping lyrics such as, Look at me now. I bet you're probably sick of me now. Ain't you, mama? I'ma make you look ridiculous now. His mother explained that behind the scenes, he was on the phone begging her to end the conflict, having stated, All I want for my birthday, for Father's Day, for Christmas, for all the other holidays, is for you to drop the lawsuit. And it seemed like after this phone call, Debbie was potentially going to drop the case. She'd publicly admit- It's pretty interesting though, because we don't see the behind the scenes. I, I know he didn't really quote where that came from. I would believe it. I mean, Eminem probably- didn't enjoy the lawsuit being hung over his head all this time. And it seemed like after this phone call, Debbie was potentially going to drop the case. Pretty interesting though, Eminem had to keep his persona at the time. Like he had to seem like he didn't care. But I know he doesn't really give a source for when he said this, but it's believable. Like having that over your head for all this time, it's gotta be annoying. And I'm honestly surprised he's even in contact with her at this point. Debbie continued the case until it would finally come to settle on the 8th of August, 2001. Two full years had passed since Debbie initially launched the lawsuit against her son. Son and yeah, like two years in the arguably the peak of his fame. I mean, right after Slim Shady LP, Marshall Mathers LP, leading up to the Eminem show. He's got to deal with that at the same time too. He just wants to settle. Given how much pain had been experienced during this period, Debbie was likely expecting a pretty impressive payout, although this isn't what would happen. Eminem was ordered to pay his mother a measly $25,000, which becomes even funnier when you come to discover that in the process, Ew. Debbie Mathers was charged $23,354 in legal fees, meaning- Yeah, like that's crazy for two years of work, well of work, but two years of this, you get- less than two thousand dollars that when profit, all was said and done eminem's mom kept only one thousand yeah. six hundred and forty six dollars debbie mother's lawyer stated but i wonder how much she made off her diss track off her book off all the publicity she got. Debbie Mather's lawyer stated that she was the most high maintenance client I've had in my legal career. The $25,000 settlement was a far cry to the time I dedicated to her personally. He just said that the lawyer said it's not the last laugh. She was the most high maintenance client I've ever had in my career, which is pretty crazy for a lawyer to say. And then 
That amount was a far cry to the time I dedicated to her personally and to the legal act. So obviously he's disappointed too. Following the suit, Eminem and his mother wouldn't speak to each other for years. We don't really speak. When was the last time you talked? Um, it's probably been a couple of years. I see the relapse in the background. Marshall Mathers LP2, he has a song called Headlights, where he kind of like tries to make up with his mom. But I mean, what's in the public compared to what's in the private, we don't really know. We don't know if they talk nowadays. We don't know any of that. They could say whatever they want in the public, but we don't actually see behind the scenes. It's probably been a couple of years, probably about three, maybe four years, something like that. In an interview from 2010, Marshall stated that he didn't even know where his mum was living and that it'd be very hard to repair that relationship. However, in 2014, oh, Eminem released the song Headlights as an apology to Debbie, explaining that he was sorry for all the things he had said about her in the past. Yeah, so that song Headlights is definitely a good listen. He just kind of heals that relationship as best as he can throughout the whole song. He talks about the public trauma. He talks about his own flaws. But he also recognizes that it's not just his fault. The whole forgiveness side of the song is very good. It's a good song to listen to. I recommend you go check it out if you haven't. But yeah, it's pretty crazy to see him go from My Name Is with that diss at his mom. The whole lawsuit that we don't really get to see in the public. Then the Cleaning Out My Closet diss track. Then the song My Mom off Relapse. We just saw an interview from that era too. And then a couple years later, you get Headlights, the whole apology. Just makes you wonder a decade later... How are they doing now? We don't really know and we might never know. So yeah, that's Eminem and the history of his relationship with his mom. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. I definitely think it was well put together. I enjoyed watching it personally. But yeah, if you enjoy Eminem content, click right up here. I got a whole playlist full of Eminem videos. We got reactions, reviews, tier rankings, brackets. We got everything. So make sure to check that out. If you enjoy it, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. If you didn't, leave a dislike. Thank you for watching. Peace out.